She on a V. What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art video, man. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time you put y'all some heat. In today's video, like always, we will be working on a cartoon head for a customer. And also, if you would like to try to purchase a cartoon head for yourself, hit me up on Instagram at ChiWorld1234. Just shoot me a DM, and you know what I'm saying? Just say I'm here for a cartoon head, leave a money bag, symbol, emoji, so I know you mean business. So without further ado, let's jump into this video. First thing you want to do, like always, you want to drag. Drop the picture you want to use. Hold shift. Make it a little bigger. Let's see. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna just yeah. Okay, that's a nice size right there. Alright, just drop the opacity down on the picture. Wow. Right there, lock that layer, create a new layer right above it. Let's come up here, go to new brush, hit OK, go to pressure, change these two bottom numbers to three. And you should have the brush you see me use on every video, but you will not have that brush if you're not using a digital art tablet. You know what I'm saying? Make my brush a little smaller. Coming up here. Okay, it's cool for now. Okay, let's zoom in. Let's make clean line work. What we finna do, let's come up here, go to our pencil tool, make sure your settings look just like mine's do. Hit OK. Move this color black to the top, make sure the bottom one is locked, and we finna use this pencil tool as a fill in. So let's just create that area. We want the pencil tool to fill in and close it off. Do the same thing around the entire picture. Just find all the black areas and use the pencil tool to create that fill in.
So now that we finish with the line work, what you want to do is you want to highlight everything, go to object, expand appearance, and hit merge on your pathfinder. So all your lines can become one. After you do that, you want to drag your line work to this blank sheet of paper to make a copy. Lock the top copy. Select the second. Then you want to find you a nice base tone to start with. So let's create us a, a nice base tone. Go to your rectangle tool, and you want to drag that color. Uh oh, go to your rectangle tool, and you want to drag that color over the entire picture. After that, you want to right-click the color, go to Arrange, and Send to Back. After you do that. You'll know if you did this step right, if you look over here at your layers and you see a line where it's sitting on top of the color, you want to highlight everything once again and click merge on your pathfinder. Then you want to right click on to the color, go to isolate, select group. And now every area that's closed off is its own group. So we can change the color or we can do whatever. We can delete it if we would like. Just click right here, hold shift to select more than one area at a time. We're gonna make that white. Gotta make sure it's locked. Make sure you color at the, the top and the bottom layer is locked if you have any problems. Now we're gonna click this out of color and hit delete. Also, we're gonna change this lip color. I know we did that. I'm gonna select everything. Then I'm gonna come up here to edit, edit colors, adjust color. I'm gonna try to tweak all the colors at once. Okay, I think I like that. Hit okay. Now, what I'm finna do is, Hit this drop down menu on our color layer. Stroll down till you see your last black line work. Then you want to lock all the black line work. Just keep locking all the black line work and keep the top two unlocked. And close that layer back. Now you want to go to your white selection tool and hit delete colors that's trapped inside the hair. After we do that, let's make a copy of our color layer. Lock the bottom copy, turn the eye off on the bottom copy, select the copy in the center, and now let's delete the skin tone out of this layer. Only the skin tone. After we delete the skin tone, let's turn the eye back on on the bottom layer, create us a new layer in between the skin tone layer we just deleted and above the base tone layer. So this is gonna be the, this is where we're gonna put all our shadow layers. We're gonna put it in between those two. 
So what I like to do, I like to start with a dark tone shadow and then just keep building from there. I keep my dark shadows on top and I, the lighter I go, I place the lighter tone under the darkest one. So that's what we finna do. We just finna stack our shadow layers and let's go. We're gonna start with a dark tone. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna sample the skin tone. We're gonna find a nice dark tone. start with make sure your color is at the top and the bottom one is locked go to your pencil tool and I do all my shadows using my pencil tool so I'm just looking at my original photo and I'm placing the shadows exactly where I see them
And there you have it, you guys, how to make a cartoon head. Remember, if you're trying to get one for yourself, hit me up on Instagram. I will send you my price list. Make sure you stay tuned. More heat coming soon, and I'm out there.